All right, a couple things. This week, your research paper is due, the final one. So you should have, by this time, reviewed all of my comments that I've made along the way, looked at your two peer reviews that you've done um, for other peers and the two reviews that peers have done on you. You've made all those changes. You've gone back to the writing center, um, gotten assistance. You have taken out all of the bold start items from your abstract from your introduction, from your thesis statement, and from your conclusion. Remember the similarity cannot be over 15%. Also look at the title page as far as, um, again, remember the links and also remember um, any minimums that there are for any of the different parts of the research paper which the instructions go over. There's also a template um, just for formatting where you can kind of see what I am looking for, but again, go back to the instructions here to look for what is accepted. Remember, no late papers accepted, um, so this is the time you wanna really make sure um, that you have everything in that research paper that's required. All right, moving on to the resume. Um, so this is where you're gonna write a resume. We wanna know that by now you you get that resume going, you start working on it. Um, and so we have a how to write a resume. Um, oh, really quickly, here is the grading sheet for your research paper. So I highly recommend, this is what I'm gonna be utilizing to grade your research paper. It is located underneath the instructions for the research paper. So make sure you go through this and make sure everything in here you check off as well. I highly recommend you print it if you can, or you actually go in here and check off every part of your res of your research paper. Okay, next. In Moodle, if you click here of how to write a resume re um, worksheet, this is where you are going to choose the resume um, that you're gonna write. There's three different types of resumes, a chronological one, a functional one, or a combination one. So I want you to go through this worksheet, read about them, for example, the chronological resume. I want you to read about it, look at what a chronological resume looks like, and then the functional resume, talk about, for example, when it's utilized, um, what it looks like, and finally the combination one. All right, so you're going to see which works best for you. Choose it, remember it, because you need to write the type of resume at the bottom of your resume. You need to let me know whether it is a combination or a functional or a chronological one and why you chose that one. All right, next you're gonna do some things. You're gonna research the type of job you're writing. You're gonna do some, step three, you're gonna find some keywords. Um, and here's some examples of keywords. And then you're on this page gonna list out 20 or so keywords that describe your qualifications. And then you have a step four summary of your qualifications. Um, here's some examples. And now you're gonna start filling out some of your summaries. So again, right, what we're doing through this worksheet is building your resume. Um, step five talks about your resume heading. Um, step six talks about your work experience. Seven is achievement statements and some examples of those. And here's where you're gonna actually write it out, your turn. Next is listing your education and how to do that. Um, community service, so on and so forth. And now it's your time to create your resume. Again, don't forget to list the type of resume at the bottom and why you chose it, all right? And go through all of these steps to do that. All right, so again, there's some other um, great links for you to go to that'll help you write your resume. And don't forget to turn in your final research paper.